What is up guys DSTK here when it comes to iPhone battery health you are always in a search of how you can increase battery health percentage of your iPhone so does it really possible and how also a lot of you guys commented on a recalibration of battery health video but actually that process was only for the iPhone 11 series user but today I am gonna share a trick or we can say a feature which is already built in your iPhone to recheck the maximum battery capacity of your particular iPhone model so without making it more complex simply let's just dive right in. Basically if you find a sudden drop in the battery health percentage and you might thinking it must be a software glitch or something then you can perform a test to recheck the maximum battery capacity. To do that there is an official app available in the app store by name apple support. Few of you already know about but if you are not then simply download it and for conveniency I will mention direct link down in the description to install. Once you install the app then simply open it. You will get a welcome pop up just click on continue and there you go. It's showing device information logged in with your apple id. Also you will find all product associated with your apple id like your ipad, macbook etc. Actually I am good at app reviewing just accidentally dive a little deep inside this app but back to the topic. In order to recheck iPhone battery health capacity, then select that particular device from here. I am selecting my iPhone 11 Pro. Now scroll little bit down and click on more. Now tap on battery life and here's the test to perform a quick battery check for your iPhone. Click on check now and wait for a few seconds until it rechecks the maximum battery capacity. So you can see that here it shows 96% on my iPhone 11 Pro. So in my case which is exactly same as what it shows in the battery health setting here you can check it's 96 percentage but if it is different in your case like it's showing drop the health percentage in the setting and in the recheck test showing the more battery health percentage then accurate is what it shows in the result of recheck test so it confirms that there is some software glitch inside your iphone and to correct it you can reinstall the entire ios or contact apple support team but in case if it is shows exactly same battery health percentage at both the end then it confirms that there is nothing wrong with your iphone battery health it is working absolutely perfect so in a next second you might thinking how can i increase it so simply answer to that there is a no official way to do neither me nor official apple can do it unless you replace it with a new battery so we can work on a part to maintain battery health and to stop dropping it further and can find a reason behind how it suddenly drops and there are lots of factors working together. First is the charging method like how you maintain the charging cycle means when you should charge your iPhone like at what percentage and up to what percentage. For that I already uploaded a detailed video on this channel so click on the top right corner to watch that video. Second is of course environmental factor mostly if the temperature around you is above 40 degrees Celsius then you will find a dropping battery health percentage because as per Apple ambient temperature for iPhone battery is between 0 to 35 degrees Celsius and above 40 degrees Celsius it may harm the battery health and a problem of not charging above 80 percentage comes into the game. Also about this topic I already made a detailed video so click on the i button to watch. Third factor is when you use your iPhone while in charge. It kills the battery health much faster like you are playing game in a charge or calling someone etc. It directly affects the battery health so you should never use your iPhone while it is in charge. So these are the few common reasons behind a sudden drop in iPhone battery health percentage. But if I share my golden or a bonus trick on a battery health then stop checking the battery health percentage from today onwards. Why do care so much on a thing which can be easily replaceable under $100. Just enjoy the performance of your iPhone. If I share a simple calculation then let's say in 2022 if I bought an iPhone 13 Pro and have 100% battery health. And my plan is to use it for at least next 5 years. So as I will start using it I will find a drop in maximum battery capacity which is a nature of lithium ion batteries more you charge more likely lithium ion will start losing capacity of holding ions so as per my calculation by the end of second year my battery health will drop to somewhat 80 percentage in a heavy use so it's a time to replace it with a new one or i still can use it until it drops to 70 percentage once I spend the $100 in replacing the original battery then again my iPhone will work perfectly fine for next two and a half years and by the end of its fifth year I can buy a new iPhone and again use it for next five years in the same manner by replacing a battery once. And best part is I can enjoy its performance in a heavy task like gaming, surfing, shooting 4K videos etc without worrying about the battery health. Also you can replace the battery from third party companies which offers a great deal because at the end we need a battery that can power your iPhone.
So this is what I think on iPhone battery health. I know we came so far from the topic, but this all thing you should know about. So use the trick that I shared to recheck the maximum battery health capacity of your iPhone and tell me your current battery health percentage in the comments. So hopefully you find this video helpful. If it is, then smash that like button and do subscribe this channel for more such useful content. And thank you for stopping by till the end and I will catch you in the next video.